When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. Welcome to Godot and Janko Wednesdays of Lunch, Burger, Burger Edition. edition. Uh, today, Matthew and I went down to Verdun to go to Garage Cafe on Hickson. Mm. Matthew, have you ever been to Verdun? Uh, <laughs> to Verdun, eh? Yeah. I'm, I've going, been... I'm going big. Not just this restaurant, this neighborhood. Yeah, we're going to hone in on the... Yeah. It's slowly. Uh, I've been to Verdun, yes. Never been to Hickson. What were you doing there? <laughs> Looking for the Verdun cats. Okay. <laughs> I always heard there were many cats out there. All right, all right. Uh, not as many as I would have thought. Actually, no, today we did see a cat. Oh, did you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's you. right. So, Verdun, you are renowned for your cats, and you did not disappoint. I mean, there was also the, the Verdun python. Uh, oh, I remember the that. Verdun python? Yeah, yeah. They just caught it. It's been six weeks that it was on the loose, and I guess with the colder temperatures and uh, not that much plentiful wildlife for it to... Uh, squeeze to death and eat. Wow. It was really slow and weak when they found it. Well, that usually means that it's eaten a lot. It's really well, no, slow and weak after you eat. No, you're full and slow. I guess you're not weak, but you are sluggish. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's because of all the Maybe he's been eating all the cats. That's why I didn't see as many mm. as I was promised. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I feel like a cat would be too quick. Well, sure. maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if it could squeeze a rodent to death, rodents are quick. Animals are pretty quick, all of them. Well, not all of them. Well, Tortoise. <laughs> Sloth. Yeah. It's two right there. Boom. Yeah. Slug. Some are just less vigilant, perhaps. Okay. All right. But uh, no, I mean, they're not expecting a python. I guess that's true. Anyway, so Verdun python was caught uh, slow and weak. I'm, and don't they slow down with cold weather? Oh, yeah, yeah. cold-blooded. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all right. um, and so, yeah, I imagine he slowed down. He wasn't a good hunter anymore. And the, the days of the Verdun python are, are over. I know oh, he, yeah. he, this, the, he, I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think it's called Lady or Beauty or something like that. I forget the name of this python. Hmm. But uh, uh, it, 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 two fake Twitter accounts were made for the Verdun python, an English <laughs> and a French one. And it was like they were, people were tweeting on behalf, behalf of the uh, missing python. It's <laughs> pretty good. I'm sorry I missed that. Are they it's asexual? No. I thought that they could uh, do, you know, like some, some Snakes. frogs. and. No. Okay, no. That's some very few frogs that can change gender. I know. Yeah, uh, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park has yeah. ruined the it world really, for me. No, 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 Matthew. You can't give like the small tidbits that Jurassic Park gave that are like applicable under certain circumstances and pretend that that's the situation for all all reptiles or anything. It's fact to me for every yeah, reptile now. Exactly. That's that's the problem right there. Anyway, mm. um, Verdun Python's been caught, but you could still go and check out Verdun Python on Twitter and read all the past tweets and enjoy them. Yeah. You could what also happened? check us out on Twitter. Oh, yeah. At Burger Edition. <laughs> what were you saying, Matthew? What happened to the, the python? Did they use they it? it? No, no, they caught it. Oh, they said they cut it. No, cut they it open it. to find they all the treasures it. it's, been, yeah. it's been eating. Uh, all no... the treasures in Verdun, yeah. <laughs> No, no, didn't cough up a bunch of gold doubloons or anything. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Any children? No. Because I know that they they eat children. They eat anything smaller than themselves. No, I mean, it's very unlikely that they'll eat a child. They might kill a child. I think in New Brunswick last year, a couple years back at least, uh, two children were uh, 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 squeezed to death by a python in their sleep. Hold on now. It's going to kill a kid but not eat it? It might be too big for it to eat. But it'll be like, ooh, you look good. Let me squeeze you to death and be like, oh, man, this is too big. They eat antelopes. They're, those things are huge. Yeah, well, it depends on the size of the python, Matthew. Well, how big was this python? I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were following him on Twitter. Oh, okay, the Verdun python. Yeah. Not that big. Oh. I want to say uh, four feet. That's that's nothing. Yeah. Psh, never mind. I thought it was like anaconda. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Jennifer Lopez was going to save the day. It may have been more than four feet, but I don't think it was four meters because that'd be crazy. Not for a python. I saw, I don't know. Yeah. They grow to 20 feet. Yeah, I feel like the Verdun python was not that big, though. They would have found it earlier if it was that big. <laughs> not if it was using the, the, the metro tunnels and the sewer yeah, system. Yeah, I guess, but no, it wasn't. It was like going through yards and hiding under balconies. All right. 
Anyway, yep. Verdun Python. So we were in Verdun today, Matthew. Um, all you know about Verdun is basically they have cats and snakes. Yeah. Um, have you never like taken a stroll down Wellington? It's like it's like a great little neighborhood. Mm. All kinds of little shops and bookstores and little. Uh, bars and uh, restaurants, eccentric little uh, little uh, shops of different kinds. It's a different world for me down there. I think I saw once that someone still had their Christmas lights up in July, and I, I was like, this isn't the place for me. <laughs> it, is, uh, that, is that where you draw the line, Matthew? Yeah, you got to take your Christmas lights down. I leave them up until March sometimes, but summer comes, you take those down. You don't mm-hmm. leave them up for next year. I, yeah, well, yeah, that's <clears> – <throat> I agree. Um, however, sometimes nice – Summer evening, you get those colorful lights on. It's lovely. Those are different. Patio lanterns? Yeah. <laughs> um, or some equivalent. Yeah. So we went to a Garage Cafe today. Yes. Um, we each They have a decent menu of hamburgers, probably like uh, 10 different hamburgers on there. There's a veggie burger. One that they call the Mix, like a best of both worlds, and it said it had chicken in it. But I'm not sure if it was a chicken burger or... A meat and chicken burger or a burger with chicken on it, I didn't take a chance. I think it's whatever you want it to be. I suppose that's true. I suppose that's true. Um, uh, uh, now, Matthew, on our way to this restaurant, we were we, we narrowly avoided uh, giving donations to, what, Doctors Without Borders? Oh, yeah, by the skin of our teeth, Sebastian. Now, Matthew, uh, I started sharing with you my strategy for when I have a Doctors Without Borders or SBCA, Greenpeace, one of these types on the street that they uh, are wearing a bright vest and they stop you on your, on, your, on your journey from wherever to wherever to ask for money. Uh, I told you how I avoid them. Apparently you do the same thing. Uh, we, oh, yeah, yeah. But we do it a little differently because you... Explain to me again what you do, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna well, I generally method. try to avoid them, not yeah. make eye contact. If they do, like sometimes they'll step right out in front of you, block your path. To be like, I know you're wearing headphones and clearly don't want to be bothered, but hey, look at me. Uh, at which point I'll either just like greet them nicely, hi, how are you, or how you doing, something like that, hello, and keep walking because I, I'll if you say hello, I'll say hello, but no, I don't want to talk to you. Got my headphones on. Yeah. F off. Um, oh, so we are very similar then. Or I'll tap my watch be like, I got to be somewhere and point to where I got to go. <laughs> I'm running late. Sorry. I might say something as, like that. So I'm late, you know. Um, and now I feel like one of these people a few months ago ruined it for, for all the others because I was running late for work. Like, I, if you know, if I stopped to talk, I would have been late for work. Yeah. If not, I'll get to work just on time. Uh, and like, I go, oh, sorry, I'm running late. And he starts like making fun of me, tapping his wrist. You know what? Fuck you. I, you know, you're not gonna get money from me by by making fun of me and uh, bothering me when I'm in a rush. Maybe rush hour isn't the best time to be standing around on the corner of the street stopping people. They're causing the rush. They're causing the backup, the traffic. Now, my other strategy to completely avoid them, yes. which is, I think, what you do as well, is I try to find a blocker, uh, which is someone that will keep between me and this vested person <laughs> for as long as I can. And so I'll, I may speed up my pace of, of walking so that I keep that other person always between me and uh, the vested person so that they'll ask me They'll ask the, the 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 blocker, but not me because I'm one person away. Yeah, and that's the way I like. It. I, up until today, I didn't know anyone else did that because I do that, but I never talked about it, and I never knew that anyone did. Like you, even used me today. Yeah, I did. I wasn't. I, even, I was unaware. I mean, I was. I was not trying to when it happened, and then as it happened, mm-hmm. I realized what had happened. Um, yeah. At first, I was like trying to use someone else as a blocker. But then it ended up being all of you. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. I took it. But sometimes I do, like you, I'll, I'll say hi to them if I have to. My first option, the first, the goal is to be blocked by someone. If that's not going to happen, I will say hi to them. Never stop. Always keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I mean, I've been, st- tried. they tried to stop me before and I was running. 
<laughs> like I was running down the block, and I think maybe at that point, just a game for them. They know they know that we don't want to be bothered. Yeah, we don't want to be stopped, especially Obviously. when we're we have a place to be. Yeah, so they must get bored out there. But I I, I don't appreciate it. No, no, me either. No. I stopped once, tried to give him money. To, to tell us about this story, Matthew, please. Uh, I was younger, was naive. Uh, you know, I didn't frequent uh, the downtown area much. Uh, so this person stops me. I listened to their whole thing. I assumed that I was going to be a doctor. Okay. Uh, you know, Doctors Without Borders, I kind of thought that was like Habitat for Humanity where you just, you, know, you don't you need travel to know to, yeah. how, to, how to do things 100%. They just give you a crash course. And you're, you're, so I thought it was now, just what did be, you think, though? You were going to go to Malaysia and just patch up some kids? Yeah. Like they'll, they'll, they'll kind of show you the ropes. Well, what what ropes do you expect to be shown? No, how to treat uh, a broken malaria bone. and uh, other illnesses. Giving maybe. kids shots. Yeah, you know stuff like that, and it would just you know forego all of the uh, medical the school. Long, yeah, the, ugh. Ugh, it's all politics, and, yeah. and you know who needs it? It's a cash you just grab. need. You just need big university cash grab. Exactly. Just need to know the basics. It's it's instinct, you know. Broken so, bone probably looks broken. If it doesn't look broken, it's only kind of broken. Yeah, big deal. Walk it off. But they did not want to take the time to even give me a crash course in <laughs> in being a doctor. They just wanted my money, just like said, big university. Exactly. And they said they're no different. No. If people on the street, you think they have a, a, a they're more in touch with reality, but they're not. They want the same thing everybody else wants. And these people said we want your money, sir. And I was like, okay, how much? They said any amount, All anything right. you can give. Sure. And I was like, here's a $5 bill. And they say, no, 20 is the minimum. So it's not anything you can yeah. give. Yeah. And now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, this $20 isn't, now I've handed you $20 cash, the transaction is complete, I can feel a little better. No, you got to sign up for a thing. They're going to yeah. mail you, mail you don't want. They're going to email, email you don't want. And call and you. And they're going to probably call you to make, ask Maybe once a year, twice a year. Hey, do you mind giving a little extra this month? And it's going to be monthly. Yeah. This twenty bucks, this five dollars one time quickly turns into twenty dollars a month. And two phone calls a year where they're like, "So almost Christmas, do you have extra extra money to give us?" No, nah, man. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah. Very hard to get you to to get them to stop calling you too, because I did leave my number. Okay. Uh, for years, yeah. I would get phone calls. Get fake number. I. It's my home phone. My okay. name's Julian. My phone number is 514 jibba de boo 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 Yeah. But, you know, I feel like sometimes they, they, towards the end, they're like, okay, so just to confirm, your phone number was what again? Oh, sneaky. You know, I don't want to be caught like that. Well, in a situation like that, I would probably use my real phone number, but like... Uh, change one digit? Yeah, change one digit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do that a lot. Yeah. No. Um. Anyway, as you can uh, surmise, I did not... Uh, become a doctor. I think mm-hmm. we made that that clear. But also, did not give him any more money, any money at all. He wouldn't even take the five dollars. So, well, you know, he wanted more. He wanted me to be a returning, yeah, uh, repeat patriot. customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, ever since then, you just you just got to avoid him. You know, and I'm not against donating money. That's fine, but let me do it on my terms, mm. right? Maybe I can't afford to give you twenty dollars every month. You don't know my financial standings. No. Don't don't like shame me, uh, because you don't know anything about me, Vesto on the street. <laughs> Vesto, yeah. Uh, Vesto. You know, I really feel like that guy was out of line making fun of you, tapping your. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck you. What is that? I understand you're doing your job, and your job is basically the job of a panhandler, exactly, with an organization, a little bit better organized. But like, all you're doing is bothering people. One. Making them feel bad enough to give your organization money, too, which also pays your salary. I don't like this. I don't like this. Have a telethon once a year. Get someone famous to host it. One shot. Get it done. Maybe something on the internet so I know about your telethon. Yeah. But, like, don't be bothering me on the street. Every street corner, you've got someone asking money for the SPCA. What are we doing? Is this money going to keeping dogs alive? No one wants these dogs. That's true. It's true. Nobody does. Uh, <laughs> the, the, they try to shut down these puppy mills. That's something they, they, they tell oh, you about. Oh, that's good. That's it's good. like, hey, help us shut down a puppy mill. 